Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, finally, Oxygen OS from OnePlus One has finally released. It released yesterday, April 4th, and uh, overnight, I ran, I flashed my uh, phone, and I got the, the new OS. So, so far, I've been playing around with the OS for about 20 minutes, and uh, the experience is just like a Google phone, straight off Google phone. Uh, as you can see, it has almost all the Google apps off the bat, which is one of the great things if you are a huge Google fan. And if you own a Google Gmail account, this phone will work great for you. Now, one of the things that I've found out is that these navigation bars right here, you can actually change it to a software. So I'm going to show you guys how to change it. So if you go into settings and within settings, we want to go into the button. There you go, buttons, and then you're able to enable, disable the hardware portion and have the software portion to have um, access to the navigation bars, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I would use that a lot, so I'm going to try to disable that. I'm so used to using the hardware stuff, so you go back to the buttons and enable that. Cool, so and then you get back the buttons at the bottom of the hardware to start using. Now, apparently you have uh, gestures enabled but for some reason uh, i don't know if i'm doing this wrong but i'm not getting uh i don't know how to use it for some reason i'm trying to tap or draw zero to to open the camera it's not working as you can see it's enabled by default again this is uh the first version of it and as you can see i'm trying to draw a o or v or two lines but nothing's really happening again this is the first version of oxygen os so a lot of things won't work off the bat now for the camera version, because uh, OnePlus One phones are great with the camera, I'm super kind of disappointed a little bit that uh, their camera only supports 1080p. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Let's go to the settings and resolution and quality. And the back camera video only supports 1080p. Uh, OnePlus is really known for their 4K stuff. So I'm hoping on their uh, later versions, they're going to be bringing back 4K display. Uh, the front camera only supports 720, which is okay. Uh, another thing that I noticed from the camera, let's go back, go back again, and let's do the slide. And there's a new new feature. Uh, it's called Photo Spear. So I haven't been playing around with that a lot, but it's something new, as well as Lens Blur, which is another new feature within the camera. But these two options... Uh, these new two features actually have a little bit of options. It doesn't have a lot of options. And lens blur, you only have image quality, which is set on normal or low for fastest. And then uh, panorama is also combined with photo spare. Uh, and you only have three options, which is high, normal, or low. So I'm kind of assuming that these two options, lens blur and photo spare, probably going to have more options in the future. But again, this is the first version of it. So you know, you can't really uh, go crazy about that. Another thing that I noticed with the new OS is that they enable tap and go. So I'm going to go to settings and tap and pay is enabled by default. So this tap and pay actually works with Google Wallet. So if you set up your Google Wallet, you're able to tap and, uh, and pay stuff just like uh, Apple Pay. So if you click on learn more, it gives you a breakdown of what it is. Uh, this feature was actually known for the Nexus devices, so I'm pretty excited. I need to set this up to see how it actually works with the OnePlus One device. Now, another thing that I noticed within the new OS is that the SMS app is also set to Hangouts, which is pretty strange. So that means this is like a pure Google experience. So if we go to settings and we go into the more option and you will see that, where is that? See, default SMS app is Hangouts. So that means it doesn't have a separate SMS app to do texting. So you're going to be using Hangouts. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of worried about that because I've used Hangouts in the past at my job. And Hangouts is always on 24-7. I don't know if I would like that. I would like to see a different SMS app added into the phone to be separate from Hangouts. And one last thing that I noticed with the new OS is that on the top menu, you have cast screen, which is pretty awesome. I don't have any devices on my network as of yet, but if you hit more, and uh, again, I don't have at all, but I, I think if I do enable wireless, uh, there's someone around my, um, 
my neighborhood that has a Roku and I'm able to do a wireless display. So I'm actually going to start playing with this a little bit. I do have a friend that has a Roku. Uh, so I, I want to test out the cast screen to see how well it works with the Oxygen OS. Other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoy the hands-on on the new OS, Oxygen OS for OnePlus One. And again, never settled. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.